Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today it is Thanatos, the uh, primordial god or however you look at the pretty much the representation of death versus Jormungandr. Right, the world serpent. So let's just get straight into this. Intelligence. Thanatos is a primordial. So for a relatively decent comparison, Thanatos would be about as old as Surtur is. As just a comparison. So, again, general rule of thumb, the older the character is, the smarter they are, because they ha they are aware of more things and they have more experiences. So that's kind of the whole point. Intelligence is more experience. At, at, intelligence will incorporate experience. Like, that's just how I do it. Because um, they do play, I mean, experiences play a role within intelligence as well. Fighting ability in battle IQ. Thanatos fought in the, in the, in the Great War, the, the Titanomachy. So, he has... A wealth of experience within combat situations obviously after that really not as much because you know nothing was really going on Zeus and the Olympians were they had started their their reign right so but Jormungandr so again as far as fighting ability goes in battle IQ it's like there's not really much to go off of strength I will actually give strength to Jormungandr Thanatos and someone brought up a good point and, I, and, I, and I've watched tons of YouTube shorts um, you know, usually on a daily basis, because it gives me some insight. And there was one thing that, you know, one comment said, like, just because something is older doesn't necessarily mean it's more powerful. Now, in terms of strength, Thanatos is strong, and I've always said he's around Zeus's level, but I think he's probably a level or two below that. Jormungandr is fair, he's up there. He's definitely, Jormungandr is up there with, with Thor and Baldur and all that, sort of, and gods of that level. Not quite to the extent that Norse Kratos is, or even maybe God of War 3 Kratos, but he's definitely, Jormungandr's definitely up there in terms of strength. Speed, that's Thanatos, no question. Thanatos, I believe, and again, I've mentioned this to you before, is that because his domain exists outside of space and time, that means his speed is outer versal, or something along those lines. That's the common logic that's thrown around. And I don't know this stuff any better than, Right, so I'm just gonna go with speed, and and Thanatos has usually been regarded as one of the more faster deities, with the exception of maybe Hermes being faster or Zeus. Durability. Durability. I'm gonna give that to Thanatos for one reason. One, well, actually for two reasons. One, he's the god of death. Killing death is not an easy thing to do. Second of all, um, it take it took way more for Thanatos to get killed than it did for Jormungandr to get knocked out. Again, as far as we've seen, Thor, Jormungandr can take hits from Mjolnir. Why, not many hits. You know, with, at least with Thanatos, he was taking on, he took on well, both Kratos and Deimos. Kratos being a partial god at that point, And Deimos using the arms of Sparta. Kratos at this point had the Blades of Athena. So he had a, I think, a more powerful version of the Blades of Chaos. And he was able to tank all that damage. And it wasn't until he killed Deimos that Kratos probably went into arguably his most powerful... People would... Somewhat people have argued, you know, to be his most powerful form. And then he killed Thanatos. Jormungandr doesn't really have that quite that level of, of durability and vulnerability. In all honesty... I don't really know because with... Thanatos in his monster form, he was like the spear was able to penetrate his armor, or at least hurt him. With Jormungandr, I don't really know what his invulnerability is like. Because really at this point, it's Thanatos' monster form versus Jormungandr. That's the, the that's the whole invulnerability point. And I actually think I'm gonna give this one a tie. Again, because Thanatos is invulnerable, like his monster form isn't necessarily like it's not like flesh. It's like metal, right? Or whatever it is. But it's definitely not like he's definitely not exposed by any means. Like it's a full-on monster form. Uh, energy production and AP. As far as <sighs> AP is concerned, I think I don't know. AP is pretty hard. I think I'm actually give because in terms of energy projection, I've seen that Thanos' boss battle. He doesn't really have much in the way of AP. He has flight. And he has the ability to transform into his monster size, which, and he has super strength, right? 
tele- I think he has teleportation too, because he was able to spontaneously appear behind Demos after he bludgeoned Kratos to a pulp. So, uh, it's just... I'm going to give AP to Jormungandr because his attacks definitely have, I think, a little bit more... They can definitely cause a little bit more damage than what Thanatos can do. Now, versatility can go to... Your, uh, Thanatos, or versatility goes to Thanatos just because, again, he has just got so much more abilities. From what we have seen from Jormungandr, he's got a poison, and he's got poison, right? He's, he's a serpent, right? He's a snake. And he's just strong and kind of durable. Again, there really hasn't been that many good feats of Jormungandr. There's, like, statements and stuff, but based on... Like, there are statements about him being an equal to Thorn Ragnarok, but when you actually play Thragnarok, Jormungandr is getting slapped around. Like, you don't really see Jormungandr getting the upper edge, a uh, upper hand on Thor. Right? He's just trying to bite Thor, because that's all he really has. Right? So, in terms of abilities, there's really nothing more that Jormungandr can do. And the X Factor and Hacks. I'm actually going to give this one to, Th- to Thanatos for one primary reason. And that is, I don't really know if you can kill the God of Death by poisoning him. It just doesn't, like, to me, the logic doesn't make sense in that. I put Thanatos' durability above Thor's. As I would put the bit, any, like, maybe with the exception of Poseidon, I'd probably put Thor's durability below the below Thanatos, Zeus, Kratos from God of War 3, even Kratos is a full god. Like, because that's how, really how we're going to have to, we're going to have to use Thor as a measuring stick on this, and... Thanatos' durability and just overall his godhood just makes it... It's virtually impossible to kill him. Again, when you consider the context in which Thanatos was killed, it took a Kratos who was a partial god, not even a demigod. He was kind of like a step above that. Right? And he he was regarded as the god of war in Sparta during the Ghost of Sparta game, but he wasn't like a full god. It was weird. I think... It was because he hadn't. It was because he hadn't let go of everything within the mortal realm, something like that, along those lines. Anyways, Kratos at that point had to have had to. He was at his most angriest in the entire series. And this includes the Norse games, with the Blades of Athena. Plus, he had Thera's Bane, which I believe also amped up the Blades of Athena. It took all of that, right, for Kratos to stab him in the chest, open his chest up, and then stab him again, pretty much, right. So, Jormungandr isn't going to have that. At that point, he just... It, Jormungandr doesn't quite have that. I don't think he could. First of all, obviously he has a trouble against opponents like Thor. And Thor is not nearly as fast as Thanatos is. Based on what we understand about the God of War lore and, and whatnot. And also, Thanatos is more durable. So... F- I pretty much at this point, Jormungandr is fighting against a smarter god with... Better battle IQ. I wouldn't go as far as just saying Thanatos has better fighting ability than Thor. I think Thor has got top tier fighting ability. But outside of that, speed, durability, not to mention Thanatos has a giant form as well. It's just, I don't really know how Thanatos is really going to top that. Or Jormungandr is going to top that, I mean. So the fight, I think, in this fight, I think Jorm- Thanatos wins more often than not. It's probably going to. Again, if you were to put this on a out of like nine fights, it's probably like a. Six in favor of Thanatos, three in favor of Jormungandr, right? Maybe a five to four, but more often than not, I see Thanatos winning. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave any insight in the comment sections below. Um, I hope you have a great day, and stay tuned for more.